We're going to talk about altcoins. We're going to talk about 10x levels that could be achieved in these over the next five years. Let's find out. So hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do subscribe, hit that bell button, slap on a like and push that comment button. Hi. So again, thank you for the support, all kinds of good stuff. Please do follow me on socials. Twitter link below, follow me, because I put my trades, my investments, my thoughts on there. I'm quite active on there. Also Telegram, 2000 plus people in there now. It's pretty manic, but yeah, feel free to join in and say hello. So, I wanna talk about the future. The majority of these are actually holds that I have, just to let you know, spoiler alert. But I want to talk about them in terms of why I still feel that these have got big potential for the long term. Um, you might like them, you might hate them. Ultimately, not financial advice, just personal opinion and where we've been before and what they kind of achieve in such a way. So the first one, XRP. We're talking 10x levels from here. So we're looking at over $3 for this. We've already been there already been there without a product speculation is a wonderful thing xrp have a product now they have a load of things in place which they didn't back in 2017-18 so that's in my opinion i think that's kind of obvious i think over time the usage of that token the supply of it in terms of the use case of fast transactions is gonna catch people in terms of FOMO, that speculative value of an asset, whether it's used or not in the world that we want it to be used in. We know that in cryptocurrency, speculation is key. I think in the next five years, this will be a different price. Whether you like it or not is another thing. But personally, I think you're a fool if you're not even a little bit interested in what XRP are doing in the space. That's my personal thoughts. Simple as that. So next one, <laughs> we're going to go back to the start. We're going to click no to band and we're going to go to, are you waiting for it? Cardano. Personal opinion, I think this is an absolute banker. I think this is definitely going to do a 10x at some point, especially to, considering it's already been there as well. This has now getting to the point of having a fully working product back in 2017-18. Again, speculative value. We mooned. We looked at all, what, all, all time high, 1.30. Yeah, 1.33. So pretty much, yeah, you could probably argue you could probably do a 10x from here. You know, if you bought at the lows of March 2017, uh, not 2017, sorry, 2020 this year, um, more than likely you're probably very, very close to a 10x anyways once it goes to 20 whole cents. So yeah, but in my opinion, next five years, it's looking pretty bright. In my opinion, for Cardano, a... We'll see how it goes. But personally, in my opinion, it depends on Ethereum. I want to talk about Ethereum briefly. Ethereum, in my opinion, you know, it needs to do its 2.0. It needs to be fast with it. It needs to work. And we've obviously seen with the DeFi projects go up to the moon. It's causing some problems with fees. And this is one solution that could solve that, which is vitally important. Now, the third one. Have you guessed it yet? Are you guessing the running order yet? There's going to be a bit of a wild card on the last one, by the way. A hold that I do not have. V chain. V chain. Yes. What a coin. What an asset. What a, a possible option for a big change in the market in terms of having something to counter that fraudulent market and to be able to be running live with a real use case in the real world where it's not all pixie dust and fluffy stuff v chain is definitely up there for a possible run at a good price level in my opinion i think even with a stupidly high supply i do believe that this will be easily a 10x gain compared to like what you see around in the d5 projects where it's all speculative dust and stuff where this has got real assets within it it's pretty damn decent and yeah, I'm a holder. I like it a lot. I like the partnerships. I like how it actually works in the world of the food, the counterfeiting models of like clothing, uh, car manufacturing, all kinds of stuff like that. It's like vitally important that we have something that leads the line with this. 
could get some very very interesting sort of investment opportunity there so the fourth one we're gonna go down a little bit now we're gonna go a little bit further down quite a bit further down actually where is it there it is zilliqa now talk about ethereum again option here is with zilliqa is the fact of the, the speed the scalability the sharding of you know business models enterprises built on their chain ultimately it all matters on ethereum realistically this has got a much you know it's a bigger supply but it's in my opinion very undervalued this has already been to 23 cents without a bull run you could probably argue if it goes there again it's obviously a 10x pretty much so again in my opinion 10x is definitely available in this maybe even higher if things go right for zilliqa there's projects out there over a dollar that have got similar sort of supplies as this which is absolutely crazy when you think about it but in my opinion i think this is majorly kind of like building to be something big and that's my personal opinion on it so if you've not banked on anything in my opinion right just to give you four process of what i pick as investments i pick use case i pick that it's going to get used and when i look at zilliqa you're seeing enterprises on it anyway you're seeing big businesses using it it's like ethereum but faster it's effectively smashing ethereum in terms of actual you know product development in terms of what it's got already without live staking so when staking goes live in the next couple of months on their you know their private wallets hoo -hoo, things will get very very interesting for zilliqa in my opinion a lot of people will be looking to buy and hold that whereas zilliqa staking is currently only live on qcoin at the moment so yeah go look at that price action so the last one the last one now i don't actually hold this but i have high hopes for it i'm going to tease you a little bit in terms of what it is it's interesting because it's a sort of coin that i would never have put in my sort of like remit of potential kind of things as it stands now it's a bit upsetting because it's kind of mooned already I was an investor in the ICO back in 2017. It was my first ever ICO. Now, I don't actually hold any, but I do have high hopes for it due to its supply, due to what it is, due to its partnerships and stuff like that. And that is Utrust. Utrust, in my opinion, will do well, in my opinion. Not financial advice. It's got the partnerships. It's already done incredibly well from the lows. It, it has already been, with a speculative value, really high, $1.42 which is crazy do a 10x it's beyond that all-time high which is a bit of a shame because i looked to do a vi this video a few weeks back i just didn't do it um it was on my list of things to do but a lot of other things came up at that period and it, it's it went really low nice and low and then all of a sudden it's just popped so if you were buying at these low ranges like even if you can argue like one cent it went down to crazy gains but if you look at what they've got just to give you an insight this is a fully fledged merchant system that accepts cryptocurrency very very easily quickly all kinds of stuff it has been around for quite a while now they've got incredible partnerships they have got the likes of benfica football club as an example they've got like a load of online merchants they're looking to integrate into all kinds of like you know online stores like woo comments and stuff like that so it's massively important but you've got to understand that the way the world is going, and I want to make this vitally clear that you understand this, if world is going to adopt the use of cryptocurrencies in a, such a way that it is quick and easy to use, such as the likes of Utrus on a website, in, an, in a store, whatever, it will become very, very valuable. Now, the difference with Utrust is their token is used for everything. The refunds, the purchasing, the transferring, that is vitally important you understand that there's a token utility here so keep a close eye on the likes of you trust and i say it again you gotta go for use case if you've got a coin that has a genuine use case that's got a genuine fan base that's got a genuine partnership model out there and you can buy it on a decent amount of exchanges it'll do very well now the only downside with you trust is it is only realistically on the smaller exchanges so far that could massively change. And the world of payments, like XRP, like the likes of Nano, that's really, really fast and easy to use, they need a little bridge between. 
you trust supplies the product to be that bridge in my opinion so you trust i'm not a holder i've keenly been looking at it a shame i didn't buy into it at the lows i kind of went totally off my radar i was too busy focusing on the other projects but it's doing very very well it's starting to get the recognition and it doesn't have a huge supply so keep an eye on that keep a massive eye on it um if this does dip and it goes low again more than likely i will look at buying a little bit but for me i made a ton of money on this in 2017 based off like literally them building a product that product is pretty much live now if we have a bull run and people are using and wanting to accept cryptocurrency they're going to turn to one place and the main place will be the uterus it's the biggest one at the moment realistically to harvest a merchant on your website your store whatever to accept cryptocurrency now you got to look at how it worked in the bull run of last last time where did everyone turn to they went to ethereum because everyone's icos were built on ethereum if we're looking at the point of adoption people wanting to buy and use and sell cryptocurrencies for their products that they're selling they're going to be looking at services like this in my opinion payment mechanisms decentralized applications you got the likes of you know i've already said it i don't need to say it again so yeah i think this has definitely got potential to do well so that is my five five old coins that i feel that will do a 10x at some point in the next five years based off their use cases based off potential failings with the likes of ethereum potential adoption increasement increasement increasing in the world of well what we know quantum easing is going to kill us not us it's going to kill the rest of the world though isn't it